How's it going, guys? Chris back here again with another episode. <coughs> Excuse me. Another episode of Historic Brawl. Uh, we're gonna mull that. There we go. So we are a Samwise Gamgee deck. Gamgee? God, it, it occurs to me that I don't pronounce his name very often. Samwise, you pronounce, but you don't pronounce his last name. So we are a bit halflingy. And we're also a bit, um, foodie. We're predominantly a food deck because we are still on release day and I haven't opened up everything yet. Root opponent. Hmm. Just play a Guardian Idol. Maybe the One Ring can get us out of this. We don't have much life gain, so the card draw... Or the burden counters are permanent, basically. Create a 1-1. One, one. In the turn. So I recorded the uh, the Bombadil, the Tom Bombadil, and uh, hmm, I think we attack with Guardian Idol. Opponent is behind. No blocks, huh? We will let it go. I was hoping to kill off Nixless before we get the counter on him. Because our, uh, our halflings are kind of small. You know? They're not going to get big anytime soon. Oof. Gonna have to start drawing cards. Barely winning the race, right? That's pretty bad. Hmm, well that doesn't do much. Indestructible is a benefit. Oh, uh, that's bad. Lose a life, draw a card. Oh god, that's pretty bad with a... Uh... <clears throat> that's pretty bad with our boy. What is our boy's name? Obnixilis. He's not our boy. He's our enemy's boy. But he's a boy, and uh, he's bad for us. We make more food. Uh, that one? That one. We're gonna make more foods. We're gonna pump more teams. We're doing damage. It's 
That's a lot of damage you're putting. You really can't afford to take that. Hmm. Yeah, we'll keep it like this. Where are you shooting, opponent? Me? That's fine. So we can sack King Darien to protect a portion of our board if worst comes to worst. We might do a monodrack trick in at the beginning of our end upkeep. Because we can draw three cards, sacrifice the one ring. Um, Not good. I think we lose. That's sad. So close, man. So close. So if we had sacked a food, we'd be okay. is in the tank even though they don't have to be oh does stoke no stoke doesn't do it we're still good. I mean, we're still dead, but we're still good too, right? Like, we didn't make a punt. Any more than we were already punting, right? Yeah, yeah, opponent. You figured it out. A vampire warlock. I have seen some of the new uh, Lord of the Rings cards around, but Historic Brawl is pretty much the only place you're going to see them, right? So it's not surprising that somebody that plays almost exclusively Historic Brawl uh, sees cards designed for Historic Brawl. I meant to pause, but uh, the servers are doing better now. We are like three hours after release, so... Like the time. Hey, some Limbus bread. Keep. So I started off with a Hobbit or a Halfling tribal deck. Didn't quite work out as planned, but. Food is good for now. There's a rare Hobbit that I want to get my hand on before we actually do, like, Hobbit tribal. And he's just avoided me today. And I have spent my wild cards on sagas. Don't judge, man. That's, that's just how it goes sometimes, you know? Uh, I should have arcane signed and then played the Reaper, but... Eh. Revive the Shire. That must be after Sharky takes control. Because why else would you need to revive it, right? 
sort of once in future. Good with Cranko's command. Mm, as good as anything can be with Cranko's command, I suppose. <clears throat> Let's get Sam the One Ring. Ah, we didn't get the choice. Kind of sad, honestly. He would wear the One Ring well. About to say, I'm a massive Lord of the Rings fan. So as a result, I've seen a lot of Lord of the Rings stuff, right? Like, I've read some of the book. Well, I've technically read them, but uh, I didn't read them in order. Like, The Hobbit was the last one, or is the one that I've read in most recent memory. Um, and that's not really that Lord of the Rings. Yeah, you can have an opponent. <sighs> Uh, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Uh, oh, I was talking about Lord of the Rings, uh, the different versions of it out there. So there are the Peter Jackson movies, but before the Peter Jackson movies, there was an animated version of Lord of the Rings. And that version, for some reason, decided to kind of, kind of veer into... Uh, it was, it was made in the 70s, right? So it's a little bit weird as far as Lord of the Rings media goes. And there is just like a bunch of songs scattered throughout uh, the animated movie. And one of them is called Samwise the Strong, which is when he is tempted by the One Ring. My bro, why would you do this? Five. We got life in the bank, so we can afford to be a little bit judicious in our actions. Hmm. We can also just use Sandwise's ability. Because artifacts are historic. I'm gonna block this time because I don't want my last artifact being destroyed. Uh huh. Well, this is rough but necessary. Could we have waited? I don't know, man. The sword, despite being not a great sword, was problematic in their deck, which is... Uh, it's saying something, man. If you can make a card that's not problematic problematic, that's... That's a uh, that's a vote of confidence in your deck construction. Now, if you're more on the more on the plebeian scale like myself, you have to actually use um, some relatively uh, stapley cards <laughs> to get the dangerous effects going. One day, one day I'll reach that level though, and when that happens, ooh. The Brawl community will have to beware. I don't know, sometimes we do do some crazy stuff. Yeah, this is sudden. This was always a Zada deck, huh? I thought I was just playing against a goblin deck. 
But no, this is goblins. We're taking 12 damage. That is... That is savage. If I draw a land, Wandering Emperor can uh, stay the flood for a single turn, but... Uh, did we get another turn? No. No, we don't. GG, opponent. Zada has zotted pretty hard. Where, where are the Timmies? Oh, Timmy, where art thou? Hey. I just need somebody who doesn't plan on winning the game by turn four. That would be appreciated. Yeah, that said, we haven't been doing too bad. We've been losing, but we haven't, uh, we haven't, uh, stood across from our opponent with a wide-eyed look in our eyes. And just done nothing. Like our opponents cannot say that we have not tried to play magic. Panharmonicon. Hmm. I guess I put that in there because of tokens? Of things like when Easter East Farthing Farmer enters the battlefield? Things like that. <clears throat> Opponent is in the tank. They are playing Arcades of Strategies, which is uh, generally not an in the tank commander. Which means they probably have a sketchy hand. And they're thinking about their chances of turning that sketchy hand into something overpowered, or that sketchy hand completely screwing them over and preventing them from playing magic. And, uh,. A Yara is uh is taking this into account, right? Like they are they are considering. Hopefully we will not be here all day. Although I will say that um Arena has been better behaved. Uh because I took like a two hour break. Uh, and just made, like, dinner and, uh, got ready for other things. So, Arena's actually doing okay now. <sighs> I think I will play my commander. I don't think. Well, there's a two-mana... Is two mana removal and a one mana removal in white, right? But those are not that commonplace. Uh, wow, high alert. That's bad. Uh, I think we're gonna archivist on our opponent's turn. Resolves. You and your turtle. We're gonna archivist. And he's bravely going to take the hit to the face. Uh, we will anointed procession. And pass the turn. <clears throat> we actually drew pretty good. Uh... I think Rosie is who marries. I think she's that girl right there. I think she is Sam's wife. So the fact that we got them both, it's a, uh, what is it, lore appropriate? I suppose would be the best way of putting it. War of the Last Line. Search your library for a legendary card, put it in your hand. Creatures you control will gain double strength until the end of turn. The ring tempts you. I take ten. Uh, wow. Hmm. We dealt damage. 
we can't we have to sacrifice that farm farthing farmer though but yeah he was a cool dude don't get me wrong he was a cool dude but he is uh he is the only thing standing between us and a turtle murdering us but hey i played minecraft i know how defenseless turtles are one shouldn't die to a turtle but high alert has other plants frodo you traitor when Frodo enters the battlefield, another legendary creature. Another creature. Another legendary creature. View the battlefield. Well, what happened here? Oh! They made the turtle their ring bearer. Turtle should not have the one ring opponent. Ah. Well, I think those were our games, actually. Uh, do we want to do one more? We can do one more. I don't know, gingerly, if I click off the screen, I think to myself, yeah, I might as well do one more. Because this frees up some time later to, uh, to record various things. I like this. This is very good. Arpian Snahiri forged in fury. She's a particularly powerful commander, so. <sighs> I don't know, she makes me sad too, man. Because a particularly powerful commander in, um, in red-white tends to be an equipment commander. And yeah, no, it's equipment commander, right? Like, there's no way it wouldn't be an equipment commander. One day we'll get another cool, another cool equipment commander, or another cool commander that's uh, Boros that isn't, that just isn't a uh, you. I think we do just double block. An equipment deck that runs out of equipment. Can't really function. So we have our Doom Scarf, we're told. We can't cast it yet because we need the white mana. Might have been a reason to sequence the Pilgrim versus Lanor Elf Sundar and one a little bit differently. But. Go on, opponent. Do your thing. Uh, I think we go white. And then we can uh, give our Lanor Elves an appetite after it blocks. Scary. We don't really need to waste a card. We just block. Because we're dooming anyways. Now that we're in game four, I have to get serious because... Uh, Can't change anything there. Dude. Nahiri 
is kind of busted. Why'd you make this be this way? I wanted to get Paragon Took down before I played the Discordant, but Discordant will have to do. So we make a food. We play Tristani. We get some chump blockers. We hopefully can sequence it in a way where we don't lose a bunch of life this turn. Like our goal is just to kill as many of our opponents creatures as possible. I think we just triple block. Five damage. And here he's dead again. Hmm. Samwise into Paragon? Sacrifice three foods, return Tristani to hand. That's the turn. I'm willing to take some damage here. And here he will come back down, which is sad for us, but. It's all over when they get trample. Uh, one one go away. <clears throat> Eight. Create a one one goblin. Very cool. Very, very cool. <sighs> so much equipping. How much do I have? I only have four and four. Ooh. Okay, that's decent. We can get a bunch of life next turn. Getting up to how do you have trample? Oh, the mace. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, we don't have enough damage. We'll just take a bunch. This is Ember Cleave. God's above. This isn't enough to save us, but like, yeah, we're dead. Well, if you guys enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.